investigatory hearing as conducted by the Hayhar Ethics Committee. Today is January 12th of 2012, and I'd just like to begin by a moment of reflection on last week's meeting in that I'd like to apologize from the entire committee for anyone who may have felt um, that it, it, it completely lacked any kind of order. Um, I believe at the beginning of that meeting, I, I indicated that this is the first time that any of the three members that you see seated on the committee, which should be Marilyn Dye, Mr. Wilma Stanley, and myself, Patrick Warren, uh, this is the first time any of the three of us have gone through this process. So we were treating the original meeting as a learning process that we felt could benefit from public input. Um, as it turned out, that wasn't as helpful as we had anticipated. So um, this meeting is going to be run a little bit differently. And I'll just state for the record that the only allegation we'll be proceeding on tonight will be allegation number one, as contained in the complaint, filed by the complaint, which was released to the paper and is available for anybody to look at tonight. The way that we're going to conduct this hearing is we're going to run it like a regular court hearing where the complainant has an opportunity to present their case. The respondent, who in this case would be the mayor, would have an opportunity to cross-examine the complainant. The mayor would then present his case and then there would be closing arguments. At that point, the committee will, be, will, will adjourn to deliberate. We will deliberate however long is necessary. And then when we return, we'll have a vote as it relates to allegation number one as contained in the complaint. In other words, let me be clear when I say this, the only people who will be speaking tonight are members of the committee, the city attorney, if a question is posed to the city attorney, and any individual who will be testifying, either the complainant, the respondent, or any witnesses they may call. 